put up the picture full mass. I got a hell of a story for you, but it's not the first time we've been here. According to a lawsuit, 23 year old, Shanquise Jones, a 29 year old Brian Kraft Jr. are suing Comerica Bank after they say branch, the branch in, Ron, in Rochester Hills, Michigan, denied them a chance to cash a $1,000 check. It was a $1,000 settlement check from the insurance company, okay? The check was drawn on a Comerica account. What? Yeah, the check was drawn on their account. But Jones says the suburban Detroit bank refused to cash her settlement check on four different occasions, alleging the bank employees discriminated against her family because they are black. The couple had filed the claim after becoming victims of a vehicle break-in and theft on of personal property in November. That's according to the lawsuit filed on the 16th. Jones said in an interview with WDIV TV that while she heard of banking while black, she never thought it would happen to her. Quote, I never got racially profiled before. So I walked outside and I was crying. It was embarrassing. Uh, and remember, these are young people, all right? So this is this is something that they, they've heard about, they've seen, reported about, but never thought they would actually experience. They have already been victims of a crime. They get the check from the insurance company. They go to the bank that the insurance company banks with, and they're told, no, leave. This is not real. Put it a full mask. This is from the local coverage. Uh, per the report, the lawsuit claims Comerica bank employees accused Jones and Kraft of trying to cash a fraudulent check. The couple is suing the bank for racial discrimination in the making of a contract and accuses the bank of violating Michigan's Elliott Larson Civil Rights Act. I'm going to explain that. That actually protects against discriminatory policies and practices based on religion, race, uh, marital status, age, and other characteristics. In the lawsuit, Jones said she first went to the Rochester Hills Bank where she was not a customer. Not a problem. The check is drawn on the bank. This was on November 21st. She went there with the settlement check dated the day before. She intended to cash the check and or open an account to deposit the check into a newly created account. The lawsuit states, Jones, Kraft, and her kids were the only black customers during each of the four visits to the bank that occurred between November and January. They went four times. On the first visit, Jones showed her identification, signed the check, and provided the requested thumbprint and written signatures. Quote, much to her surprise, the Comerica Bank employee, without any proper investigation, advised Ms. Jones that they refused to cash the check or otherwise honor the check, the lawsuit states. The bank employee told her to contact the insurance company to get the check reissued. A similar scenario played out the three subsequent times Jones attempted to cash the newly issued check from her insurance company. Uh, this is according to the suit. On her second bank visit, she came in with a new check that listed the names of her, Kraft, and their six-year-old child. The bank employee, employee on that occasion said they could not cash the check because the child did not have ID according to the suit. And by the way, uh, banks are allowed to negotiate uh, when it's a minor on a parent's account. When things like that happen, they can make a judgment call. I looked at the rule. There's more, but their fourth, their fourth time, all right? This was on January 12th. The couple returned again with a fourth newly issued damn check. Now, insurance company got to be like, what the hell? Four times. Quote, Comerica Bank employees flatly refused to provide any banking services to Ms. Jones, Mr. Kraft. Refused, and they refused to cash a check, refused to otherwise honor the check, and refused to uh, open a bank account for them. The lawsuit claims. Employees then accused them of committing fraud, and they confiscated the check. Because there will now be, according to them, a fraud investigation. Wow, put it up for a mask. 
The couple's lawyer, Mr. Brandon McNeil, told WDIV TV that on January 24th, he tested whether the same issue would have happened with a customer who was not black. He said the white customer went to the exact same branch location with a settlement check for $1,000. And it was drafted on a Comerica bank account with no problems, none. McNeil also told the outlet Comerica Bank has effectively stolen their check and provided them no recourse but to file this lawsuit. You got to think about the irony of this whole thing so far. They jumped through hoops and loops they never should have had to. The damn bank knew this is their check. If they got a problem with it, they called the insurance company that holds an account with them. McNeil told um, Atlanta Black Star. In an email that read in part, quote, my clients did everything in their power to follow Comerica Bank's directions and provided ample proof. It is my hope that this lawsuit will deter any banks and financial institutions from racially discriminating against customers. Curtis C. Farmer, put them up. This is the chairman, president, and CEO of Comer Incorporated and Comer Bank. In a statement to Atlanta Black Star, Comer Bank said in part, quote, we take all allegations of discrimination uh, very seriously. As reinforced through Comerica's core values, our respect for diversity and inclusion permeates everything we do, treating all colleagues, customers, and suppliers fairly. With dignity and respect as core to our behaviors, and any variance is not tolerated. All right, number one, he did not write that, a communications person did. Number two, uh, he did not address the actual issue of the discriminatory dynamics. And number three, that got you dead to the wrong CEO. The attorney is a sharp one. <clears throat> he provided the contrast necessary for this to be a slam dunk. What is that? You can't prove discrimination if you can't prove discrimination. He proved it. Somebody else who was white was able to do something that people who were, were not black, who were black, were not able to do. They got you. Good job by the attorney. Um, Dina Dahl, I got to applaud this attorney for getting the evidence in advance because typically you would have to go through a subpoena process to understand practices of the bank. They got it on record already. Naturally, I would assume that the insurance company was involved in that since they cut a check from the insurance company uh, to provide the opportunity. Hey, yes, absolutely. Good job on the attorney's part. I mean, is so horrible that this happened to the couple and the woman's statement about how she cried afterwards. Yeah. You know, that hit me the most. Just that like dehumanization, that feeling like you are a respectable citizen showing up, you know, working, getting your check, doing the best you can. And then you walk in and you get denied like that. And it's like, that's not okay. And this is why we have laws because people in this country can't always do the right thing. And I think between just our general discrimination laws and that specific act, you know, unfortunately they had to get a lawyer, which, you know, right. even as a lawyer, I think it's nobody ever wants to deal with a lawsuit. It's like usually the worst time in anybody's yep. lives. Litigation is horrible. So I'm sorry that they even have to go this far, but I hope they get a really big settlement as they yep. should. That's right, damn right. And we will follow this story.